Hello to all my friends out there on the interwebs who love miniatures. I am Doc Eon. It is another Monday. I'm here to ramble. Today is Monday the 15th of January 2024. And four is also the number of minis I've finished. <clears throat> How's that for transition? So we have from Reaper Miniatures, the ones I've been working on the longest are these two beast folk. We have a boar man and a stag man. And uh, yeah, they turned out a little darker than I originally thought they would, but hey, it's I tried to light them up with some patches of color, a little bit of flowers on the base, because they have big bases. And then from Hasselfeed Miniatures, we have these two zombies. We have a sort of um, person in a long coat, zombie. Uh, I just I probably a lab coat. I decided to to paint that not white because I wanted to give him a white shirt and that would be too much white. But oh well. And then we have the Japanese schoolgirl zombie with the mini skirt and the black hair. You know, uh, they turn out fine. Four minis. Not a great number, but, you know, I've had a lot of work to do this past week, coming back to work from my, my Christmas vacation. Yeah, I've been really, really busy, and we'll have to see the coming week <clears throat> if I don't think it's going to slow down for a while. Uh, but I will keep on trucking, and uh, let's go over to the work table to look what's in progress. Trying out a new kind of process with these... Um this batch, namely that I've base coated everything with speed paints. This is mostly army painter speed paints. I have, I have a small collection of the 1.0 <clears throat> from army painter. And well, in a, in a couple of cases, I've used some contrast paints from GW, mostly speed paints though. And so, so this is kind of a base outline of where I want to go with them. And then I'm thinking I can just layer in some highlights using normal paint and then maybe some some very dilute uh, careful washes to to get some extra shading and maybe that'll be a way to get these on the table quickly we'll see how this uh, test goes so my latest prep is uh, these uh, cyberpunk sci-fi ish figures they're all from Reaper, and they're from that latest order I, I uh, unpacked last week. And what I went with was all the Bones ones. So so I picked out, I, I, well, I picked out the Christmas minis and put them away for next Christmas. And then I, of the rest, just single out the ones that are plastic uh, in Reaper Bones material. Left the metal ones in the box for now. And, you know, nothing special. The, the... Um, the one that was kind of interesting was this guy. He was on a uh, not on a tabbed uh, slot kind of thing, but a full base. So I think thought he didn't really fit in with the others, and I decided to cut off, cut away the base completely. And I thought, well, with, usually with bones that's easy because the bones is kind of soft. But this is a, a newer bones material. I don't know if these are printed actually. They could be, uh, but it's much harder, a little bit more brittle. And what happened was, as I was cutting, his legs broke off at the ankles, both of them. So what you're looking at now is uh, legs that are pinned completely. They, they are it's a pin through the base, through the foot, and into the leg on each leg. So, so reinforcing the ankles that way. I think I'll put on a little, and this is just super glue. Uh, sort of filling in the gaps right now. I'll, take, I'll put on some more gap filler material like I did around the shoulder for this mini uh, just 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 in, just in case and I'll, I'll prime them soon tomorrow or something and maybe get started That's them This 
this week we have some more new arrivals and this is was a spur of the moment thing i i had a moment of weakness and i fell for a sale there was there's a friendly local game store here in sweden it's well it's not very local to me it's in uh, stockholm but they have a good mail order and and they had a christmas sale on a lot of stuff but the stuff that i was interested in was minis so i splurged and bought a lot of stuff that was up to 75 percent off and this bag contains some paints well the, the chimera colors bottles are just medium they were really cheap so i got three bottles of those and we have some vallejo paints one panzer aces paint and two that are mecha color which i i i'm, I'm not familiar with that subline of paint from vallejo before so i decided eh, let's, let's have a look at them and well it's not much there and uh, then we have a set of minis which i believe is for some sort of game um Therefore, Guild Ball is the name of the game, right? So it's a skirmish game. I, I don't play this. I'm never going to play it. But I, this was also extremely cheap and had some fantasy-looking figures that I suppose could be, that I think could be used for, you know, you don't need to play fantasy football or whatever this is. Um, so there's a bunch of dudes. And uh, I, like I was, I'm, I'm not familiar with this company at all. So I just, I thought, like I did with, with, uh, those DC Comics figures from a while back, and so I, eh, let's just try them, because it, because it's cheap. And while I was mentioning those, the same company that does the DC, I think, I think this is Night Game. Yes, this is Night Models as well. They have Marvel as well, and this model of Nova was, you know, very cheap. This is, you know, I assume this is the classic Richard Rider uh, Nova. Uh, and this guy is in a costume a bit more interesting than those uh, thugs I painted before. So, yeah, why not pick him up? Then we have, not miniatures, but terrain. This is Battlefield Debris from uh, Mantic, one of their terrain crates. Which, again, simply because it's cheap, I picked it up. And a, a lot of what's left is from weird miniatures. So this is a Rotten Harvest Special Edition. So this is a special Halloween-themed variant of some other characters. So so they it says here the name of the character and what they count as in the game. So they're proxies for standard some standard miniatures. And these are a little spooky, and I think these are also, these are not specifically uh, the Rotten Harvest, the, is, I think is named for the Halloween variants. This is called Twisted Alternatives, which I think is simply, yeah, what it says, Twisted Alternatives, just weird versions of it. So the tortoise and the hare uh, are really really weird here and 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 it, it again it says uh, genbu counts as izamu the armor and luther counts as the blessed of december i these are probably characters i, I haven't played mouth in a while so i'm not familiar with them and then we have more more of the rotten harvest minis this time i believe this is simply the zoraida set yeah and zoraida is just zoraida and we have versions of Bad Juju and the Voodoo Doll and the Valgeists. Yeah, I mean, I painted the Zoraida crew before in the normal way. And finally, the last model, I believe, is a, a, a pre-painted tavern. This is, so, so this is uh, from something called Battle Systems, which apparently this is, doesn't need to be painted at all. Uh, we'll, we'll see. Oh, just a lot of terrain that could be used for for an interest game. Uh, so there's a good collection of stuff here. We have we have here six, ten, twelve, thirteen, 
Uh, 19 models added to the pile plus some terrain. Um, I'm not gonna start painting any of this immediately, I think. I need to open it up a little bit and look at it and see what it is. And especially the ones that are like Halloween themed, I'll save them for Halloween. These might get put into the queue relatively reason, uh, relatively soon, but uh, I actually have another idea for new projects. So what I think I want to do for new projects the coming weeks is kind of alternating a little bit between uh, these modern day Hasselfri minis that I still have left and the recently purchased sort of post-apocalyptic or near future Reaper minis I got, the ones I got recently in, a, in a, an order from them. <clears throat> so I'm not just painting the same thing over and over again, but, but you know, getting a little variety into it. So I'll pick out four or five of these to prep for next week. Maybe this Felicity B here. So this is another, an altered version of the post-apocalyptic Daphne from the Scooby Gang. I've pitted one already who had, oh, I forget what, she has some sort of melee weapon. But this one is like a big minigun or something, or maybe a flamethrower. No, it's probably a minigun. That's that seems cool. And and we have a few others here. Um, yeah, <clears throat> there there'll be uh, some variety. And uh, yeah, we'll see how fast I manage to paint in the coming weeks. As always, thank you for watching this video for so long. Please give it a thumbs up, subscribe, comment, and of course, be back here next week. Same day of the week, same channel, same Dakiyan, who's now signing off.